Thanks for joining us at the San Siro, famously a shared home, and we're delighted to be sharing this with you today. I'm Guy Mowbray, and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith, and everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's Inter, and they face Al Itihad. Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly, but I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. A warm welcome to the San Siro, where the spiralling ramps lead to a seat in one of football's most famous venues. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with the former England forward Sue Smith and every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Inter and they face Al Itihad. Yeah, thanks as always, Guy. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a good game today and an atmosphere to match. Certainly been buzzing in here ahead of kickoff. Hopefully we're not disappointed. This is the Inter starting 11. Jan Sommer is in goal. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Benjamin Pavard as fullbacks. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Hakan Chalhanolu in central midfield. And they're going with two men leading the line. This is the visitors' team for today. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Fabinho in central midfield. And the main man in attack is Karim Benzema. Well, Lautaro Martinez is very much the player's player. Many have picked him out as the one they'd most like to be partnered by in attack. What should we expect from him today, Sue? Well, I'm really looking forward to watching him play here. He's the club's top scorer, but he's got so much more to his game. The defenders, they're going to have to stay focused for the entire game, or he'll certainly punish them. A chance to cross here. Trying his luck. Now, what can they do from the corner? And here it comes. It's only halfway clear. And it hasn't come to anything. Disappointing. And the ref has played advantage here. And able to come away with the ball. Benzema, it's in. Deadlock broken. And just how crucial could that prove to be? Well, we can see it again, and it's a wonderful assist, you have to say. Beautiful technique to create the chance. And then it's quite the finish, too. Struck with real venom, and that's what makes it difficult for the keeper. And the game restarts with the score 1-0. Mkhitaryan. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Di Marco. Martinez. And that has stopped any potential danger. This has to be. It might still happen. And they're not going to benefit from a decent passage of play. Well, they didn't find the equaliser there, did they? But that was more down to good goalkeeping than anything else. Just need to keep the pressure on now. From a long way out. Well, in the end, it didn't give the keeper much trouble at all. Trying to force a mistake. There's the whistle, and that brings the first half in Milan to a close. Well, Karim Benzema has asked plenty of questions of that back line. He's been difficult to contain. Yeah, he's had a really productive first half. He'd give his side the lead with a tidy finish, but it's his all-round play that's been so good too. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the second half. And there's the restart. Off we go again.
Kante, he's trying his luck here. And it's not the best of clearances. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. Counter-attack coming, away they go. Martinez, and that's been seen as a foul, free kick. In it goes, level once again. What a game this is turning out to be. Well, if we take a look at the replay, he finishes this off nicely with his head. His movement's good to get there first, and it's a clinical finish in the end. So it's one each as the game restarts. Chalhanolu. Nicolo Barella. In behind, can he finish? Kept out, but for how long? Moving the ball around well here. Well, listen to that roar when they win the ball back. The fans are responding to the positive play. They just need to finish one of these chances now. They found a way through. And ready for it coming his way. Well, they've certainly been positive in their play, haven't they? But for that really good save, they'd be in the lead now. Martinez. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. He was asked to have a go, and it wasn't a bad attempt. They certainly took the right option. It opened up. No one was closing him down, so why not have a go when that wasn't far off? Nicely kept in, that's good work. Got room to operate in here. This looks really good. Could we see a winning goal? Having a try. And that's a fine save. And it's still level. Oh, that's such an important save at a vital time. And if they get a result here, they'll have the keeper to thank. It's put into the middle, and away from danger it goes. Well, ambitious effort, asking quite a lot to score from there, and that's missed by quite a bit. Oh no, what's he doing there? That's an opportunity wasted. It's got to be a perfect shot to beat the goalkeeper, and that wasn't. Promising move this, a goal now would surely be the winner. And that's where it ends. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. And the referee's whistle brings the game to an end. And that will do it. It will be decided on penalties. Saved. No better feeling for a goalkeeper. Oh, if you try one of those, you have to make it count. And it's been put away. And it's hit the crossbar. He just couldn't keep it down. 
And he can turn away having done his bit. Good penalty. And clinical from the spot. And it's saved! The keeper, the hero in the shootout. Well, so often it's a guessing game, but it's guess right here. It's a good stop, you have to say. They probably deserved it overall, just about edged it for me.